What's going on guys, Champ Champ Bricks here, back with another LEGO Star Wars set review video. In this video, we have the Boarding the Tauntive 4 set. Now the set number for this set is 75387 for ages 8 and up, with a total of 502 pieces. This set released March 1st of 2024 for a total of $54.99 USD. Now before I dive deeper into the set, I'm going to be giving a quick little box review. On the front side of the box, on the upper left corner, we get that LEGO Star Wars logo, the set description, and that dividing line. Moving towards the center we get a nice picture of the famous Tonto 4 boarding scene build included from the Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. Down on the bottom right we get all the minifigures included in the set and lastly on the bottom left we actually get the exclusive 25 years of Lego Star Wars logo as well as a picture of the exclusive Arc Trooper 5's minifigure included in the set. Moving on over to the back side of the box, we get another view of most of the minifigures included in this set, as well as another look at the Tonto 4 boarding scene build. Up towards the top right, we get a better look at some of the play features included in this set. And lastly, on the top side of the box, we get an actual size image of the Captain Antilles minifigure included in this set. Now let's not waste any more time and jump into the time lapse of building the set. Now that we have this set completely built, let's jump into the minifigures that are included. The first minifigure included in the set is going to be Darth Vader. Starting off with the upper part of the helmet removed, we get a beautiful front print of Darth Vader's pale white face. Now this figure's headpiece has a dual sided print where on the back side we just get a print of the back side of Darth Vader's pale head. Moving back towards the front, as you can see we also get a nice front torso and leg printing of Darth Vader's armor. This figure does come with side printing of Darth Vader's armor on both sides of the arms. Moving on over to the back side, after moving the cape to the side we get a better view of that back torso print. Lastly, this figure does come with a red lightsaber with a chrome hilt, as well as an all black cloth cape for Darth Vader. Now the next minifigure or minifigures included in the set are going to be two of the newer dual molded stormtroopers. With the helmets removed, we get two different and unique face prints for the head of these figures. With the helmet piece back on, both of these figures have the identical printing on the helmet, torso, and leg pieces. Moving on over to the side, this figure does not come with any side printing. Moving on over to the back side, these figures only come with the Stormtrooper armor printing on the back torso piece. Lastly, both of these figures come with those black blaster rifle accessory pieces. The next minifigure included in the set is going to be Captain Antilles. Now this figure does come with a dual sided face print, giving us an alternative face for Captain Antilles. As you can see, we get a very nice front torso print of Captain Antilles uniform. Now this figure does not come with any side printing, just all tan arms. Moving on over to the back side of the figure, this figure does come with that back torso print of the uniform. And lastly, this figure comes with a silver blaster rifle accessory piece. The next minifigure or minifigures included in the set are going to be two identical Rebel Fleet Troopers. Now both of these figures do come with the same dual sided face printing, giving us an alternative face for the Rebel Troopers. As you can see, we get a very nice front torso print of that Fleet Trooper uniform. Both of these figures do not include side printing, just all blue arms. Moving on over to the back side of these figures, both of these figures do come with that back torso print of the Rebel Fleet Trooper uniform. And lastly, these figures both come with a silver blaster rifle accessory piece. And the last minifigure included in this set is going to be the exclusive minifigure Arc Trooper 5s. Now this is one of my favorite clone troopers in general and I'll be giving my personal opinion on this figure later in the video. But for now, starting on the front we get that unique Arc Trooper 5s printing on the helmet, torso, and leg pieces. With the helmet removed, this figure comes with a unique clone trooper 5s face print. This figure does come with side printing on both sides of the arms, providing details of Arc Trooper 5s clone armor. On the back side of the figure, this figure comes with a brick built arc trooper backpack with the backpack removed this figure comes with a back torso print of fives clone armor lastly this figure comes with a rangefinder antenna piece that can attach to the side of fives helmet 
Moving back towards the front, this figure comes with an amazing cloth pauldron for Arc Trooper 5s. Additionally, we get two Arc Trooper pistol blasters for this figure. And lastly, this figure does come with its own brick built display stand. Now this display stand comes with a printed piece, including that 25 years of Lego Star Wars logo that we saw on the front of the box art, which I really thought was neat for Lego to include with this figure. Moving on to the main build, this build took me around an hour to completely build. This set comes with a couple very interesting play features. Starting off, the floor actually has four different built-in Technic pieces that when turning or pressing down the levers on the side of the build, you can actually lift the floor one by one tile pieces, which results in catapulting the figures, giving you that perfect action shot or image as seen in the movie. The next play feature is going to start off on the back side of the build, where next to the open door, we actually get a lever hidden. And if we follow the Technic pieces, we actually get another lever piece connected. And essentially what these lever pieces do is that when pulled down, it actually pulls the sliding door to the side, introducing that image where Darth Vader actually cuts through the door with his lightsaber, which I thought was really cool for Lego to introduce this using the snot technique for that cut up door frame. The last play feature is going to be located on the bottom and that is primarily just to connect two of these sets together if you wanted to build a longer hallway. The only printed pieces included in the set other than on the minifigures of course are going to be that sliding door panel piece. This piece is actually a printed piece which I was very happy for Lego to make instead of just including another large sticker on a part that could easily be printed. The next printed piece is a piece that I've already shown before, and that is going to be the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars plaque that we got with the exclusive Arc Trooper 5's minifigure. Some of the stickers included in this set are going to be located towards the center of the build. For starters, above the door we get a 1x2 sticker representing the door entrance slash exit light providing extra detailing. The rest of the stickers are actually going to be four similar 2x2 sticker pieces and four similar 1x2 stickers located on the back wall. Essentially, these show an image of fans and vents providing that extra detailing for the back wall. My overall opinion is that this is a really, really good display and play set. This isn't like a Starship or Walker build, but this was a really fun and enjoyable set to build, as well as a fun set that you can play around with. Additionally, if you are a person that likes to display their sets, this could also be easily displayed along with its figures to give you that perfect iconic hallway scene from the movie. I really like the way the designers implemented that sliding door play feature using the studs not on top building technique and overall really the image of the hallways i think the designers did an incredible job trying to capture that feel and image the figure selection included in this set is actually really really good in my opinion getting an even siding of figures between the empire and the rebels and of course including that exclusive and incredible r trooper 5's figure was very shocking honestly for lego to produce i honestly wouldn't change anything about this set overall this in my opinion is a really good set all around the build has some really enjoyable play features the figure selection has some great additions for any army builders, as well as getting that Clone Trooper 5 sold me on deciding to purchase this set. With all that being said though, this set will eventually go down on price. So if you are just looking to purchase that exclusive figure, as I'm sure many of you are, or even just to collect the set overall, I definitely think that you could wait for this set to go on sale. But don't wait, you don't want to miss out on getting this set. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you going to get the set? Are you not? And as always guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. It lets me know that you guys actually like these set review videos and subscribe to the channel if you're new that we can stay up to date to all my latest content until then this is champ and i'll see you in the next one